Can the COVID-19 vaccines actually cause health problems? You might have heard of some scary side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines, or that they're happening to a lot of people. But scientists have looked into how the virus is spread, and they think it's likely that most people will come into contact with the virus at some point in their lives. So it's a good idea to protect yourself from severe illness by getting vaccinated. So let's look at the risk of the vaccine side effects compared with the risk of health problems caused by a COVID-19 infection. General vaccine side effects. Since the COVID-19 vaccines became available to us, researchers have been tracking any bad reactions from them and making sure that the risk for serious vaccine side effects is low. It's common to have a sore arm or feel tired or have flu-like symptoms for a day or two after you get the vaccine. That's normal and it's actually a sign that your body's immune system is working. As of February 2022, over 10 billion doses of the vaccine have been given to people around the world. And scientists are tracking what they call adverse reactions in people who have been vaccinated to see if there's a risk that the vaccines are causing health problems. As Health Canada evaluated the safety and efficacy of the vaccines, they decided the safest and most effective are the mRNA vaccines by Pfizer and Moderna. With that many doses given in just a year, we can be very confident that the risks from these vaccines are incredibly low, much lower than the risk of catching COVID-19 and having problems because of the virus. How are scientists measuring health problems caused by the vaccine? People wait at the clinic for 15 minutes after being vaccinated, just in case there are any bad or what we call adverse reactions after the shot. Most quick reactions are allergies and are easily treated with antihistamines. There have only been about three serious anaphylactic allergies out of one million vaccinations, so it's incredibly rare. If people have other health problems in the days or weeks after their vaccination, their doctors report it and Health Canada can track these things to make sure that the vaccine is safe for the population. We can look at those numbers to see how safe they are. So what are some of the biggest health concerns? Obviously, the worst possible adverse event following vaccination would be death, and we can see how many reports of deaths there have been. Now, we should also explain that a report of death or any health problem after the vaccine doesn't mean necessarily that the vaccine caused the problem, just that it happened shortly after the shot. As of February 4th, 2022, over 78 million vaccine doses have been given out in Canada, and there have been 287 deaths reported following vaccination. If all those deaths were directly caused by the vaccine, that would be a risk of three or four people dying out of a million vaccinations. But for COVID in Canada, out of every 1 million people infected with COVID-19, over 11,000 die, which is very scary. That means you're 3,000 times more likely to die from COVID than from getting the vaccine. Not to mention, you're also more likely to have severe symptoms from COVID and more likely to have long COVID symptoms as well. After Health Canada looked into each of the death cases from the vaccine, they were only able to confirm that six of those deaths were linked to the vaccine because of a risk for blood clotting. The risk of dying from the vaccine is incredibly low. One of the big concerns with the vaccines were heart problems and blood clotting. Myocarditis is an inflammation or swelling of the heart muscle. And one study comparing thousands of vaccinated and unvaccinated people found that it caused chest pain in 2.7 out of every 100,000 newly vaccinated people. But the risk of getting the same problem because of COVID-19 was 11 out of 100,000 people. Again, you're more at risk of these problems from COVID than the vaccine. It's also important to understand that the myocarditis from the vaccine goes away on its own without treatment, but heart problems from COVID-19 can be dangerous and increase the risk of future heart conditions even after recovery. Blood clotting was also a health concern, but only 1.5 people out of every 100,000 experienced any circulation problems after being vaccinated. People infected with COVID are eight to 10 times more likely to have blood clotting issues. So again, getting vaccinated is definitely worth it. One of the few vaccine side effects that you're more likely to get from the vaccine than from actual COVID infection is swollen lymph nodes. Your lymph nodes are part of your immune system where your white blood cells live and work to fight infections. About 78 people in every 100,000 vaccinated people had swollen lymph nodes, 
where only three of them got from the infection itself. Swollen lymph nodes, again, are not dangerous, and they go back to normal after a few weeks. It's important to remember that COVID-19 infections also cause a whole bunch of other health problems, like irregular heart rhythms, damage to the kidneys, and problems in the digestive system, on top of the obvious lung damage from COVID. What about unknown long-term side effects of the vaccine? Are there any side effects that could last for a long time or only appear years from now? The answer is most likely no. The ingredients in the vaccines aren't new. They've been used in different medicines for decades, and we haven't seen any long-term side effects from them. Most long-term side effects from medicines are from taking medicines over a longer period of time, where there can be a buildup of drugs in the body that affect the way your cells and tissues work. Even using too much Tylenol is bad for you. Sure, it can treat your headache or body aches, but it can also cause kidney, liver, and digestive tract damage and longer use increases risk for heart disease. Unlike other medicines, a vaccine is a one and done, or in this case, two or three, compared to other medications you usually take daily or weekly over a long period of time. The long-term side effects scientists are actually concerned about are the side effects from catching COVID. Things like long COVID or multi-system inflammatory diseases that can happen to people who didn't even feel sick in the first place. Scientists are estimating that there are up to 200 long COVID symptoms that we should look out for. This is why the experts in the field encourage you to get vaccinated if you can. The numbers show us that vaccines are safe and effective, and out of the billions of shots already given to people around the world, we haven't really seen any major, major health concerns, especially when compared to the risk of severe disease if you get a COVID infection. Thanks for watching. We hope we answered some of your questions about your chances of getting sick from COVID-19 vaccines. If you would like to learn more about germs and vaccines, check out our other videos in the link below. If you still have questions, send us an email or message us through our Instagram or Twitter. Thanks for joining us and stay curious. Make sure to click like and subscribe for more videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. To support the Youth Biolab's ongoing programming and expansion plans, please contact St. Boniface Hospital Foundation at stbhf.ca.